um, what this Bible is talking about. They might think the saints are anyone that call on the name of Jesus or whatever they teach. But this defines who the saints are. Psalms 148.14 He also exalted the horn, which is the power of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. That's the saints, the children of Israel, who we are, a people near to him. Praise he the most high. See? So, when you look at, going back to Matthew 24, and 3 again, and as he sat up on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us, when shall these things be? When these things going to be? The end of the world. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? What's going to be the sign of you coming? And of the end of the world. And myself shall answer said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. Remember, remember the devil tried to deceive the whole world. That's why you, you're looking for people to, to be able to gravitate to this truth. They can't because the devil to deceive them. They tell you, go to, um, you'd be surprised, you know. Look at uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 14. 2 Corinthians 11 and 14. Is there and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light, shining bright. People thinking that they following the most high, the Mashiach Yahweh, they following Satan, because he done changed it to an angel of light. Come on, you can't deny it. Here it is. Let's get another one out of this Bible. It say the Holy Bible, right? Then to the see the whole world, he done turned it to an angel of light. How about that? Look. He'll turn into an angel of light. See there? Come on now. To see the whole world. And when you point it out, the color don't matter. It don't matter. But it, it matters because he got an appearance in the Bible. 2 Corinthians 11 and 14. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Verse 15. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. We already read about the end. We read a little bit about the end in Obadiah. Remember we just read about what he said he's going to do? Remember he said, he kept saying, and you shall know that I am the most high. That's a guarantee. Verse 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers. Remember the devil, Satan, the serpent, the dragon, Esau, the Edomites, the beast, the deceived the whole world. Right? What do you say? For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Mashiach. Transforming themselves like I just showed you in the Bible. It says Holy Bible. But he got their pictures in it, their images in it. It's no marvel because this, this was, it was known that it was going to happen. Look at First uh, Maccabees three forty-eight in Apocrypha, and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. Come on, I got to keep putting it in your face because you know they say a picture worth a thousand words, right? So we've seen the Mashiach El Shai. Well, I say Jesus Christ. I won't say him. Because it's not a Mashiach El Shai. We've seen him as a brunette, right? But here he is as a little boy in the Holy Bible. When he was talking to the, the doctors and so forth. He's blonde haired and blue eyes. See that? There he is right there. That represents Jesus at a young age of 12. Right? On his birthday on the Passover. He went up to Jerusalem on the Passover. So it tells you that they opened up the book wherein they, whereas the heathen sought to paint the likeness of their images. And a lot of you are probably looking at that picture of, let me see if this is. I don't know, it might be him. It might be this dude. See that dude right there? See him? I want y'all to look something up though. You gotta get it right. 
I want you to look up uh, Warner W A R N E R Solomon S A L L M A N Warner Solomon S A L L M A N Warner W A R N E R S A L L M A N You're gonna be amazed. But nevertheless, the Bible says in First Corinthians, First Maccabees three forty eight, it say, and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images, as we just seen in the Bible, right? So this is already prophesied. Can you imagine a Masechet Shai coming on the earth and knowing that? This has to happen. The Most High, the size of Abashiach outside, the Most High looking at them painting that cat with a sheet going across his genitals. That's all it is. He butt naked with a sheet going across his genitals, representing the Most High. And look at Wisdom Psalm fifteen and four. But neither did the mischievous invention of men deceive us. See, you hear the deceive, 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 lie, 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 over and over again, right? That's what deceive is. Lie to us. Nor an image spotted with diverse colors, the painter's fruitless labor. See? The sight whereof entice fools to lust after it. So if you say that that's your power, you a fool. As it is written, the sight whereof entices fools to lust after it. And so they desired a form of a dead image that have no breath. Both they that make them, they that desire them, and they that worship them are lovers of evil things and are worthy to have such things to trust upon. See? That's that idolatrous picture of Caesar Borgia. That's why I say Satan is appeared as angel of light. And y'all believe it. That's why y'all better recognize for real, for real, what's going on here. Go to uh, 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter. They tell you verse three. You say, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. If what is coming out here is hid to you, you lost. It's hid to them that are lost. Listen, in whom the God of this world, Esau is the end of the world. The God of this world, the power of this world, had a power to present all the things they present to you in the media, the movies, all their records. You whitewash everybody to represent them. The God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. You don't want to believe this? The God of this world, you are blinded. <laughs> In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. They have no faith. That's why we had to go to showing you the man that was glorifying the Most High because he was cured from having leprosy. And my son was say, what? Your faith has healed you. Your belief in the Most High has healed you. In whom the God of this world, if you lost, the God of this world who transformed himself into an angel of light, and no more of his ministers also transform, transform themselves into an angel of light, and apostles have deceived the whole world, these preachers that's sitting up here, open up this Bible, bringing forth a few scriptures out of the Bible and running their mouth to see the whole world for lucre's sake. Oh, y'all gonna pay too. He said, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, which is not the light 
that's been transformed from Satan into light. And you believe in that. But the glorious gospel of the light of the glorious gospel of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. See? That's why you can't see this because you're blinded. It's sad, but it's, it's real, man. Y'all y'all blinded and not seeing this and not operating in this. Because it's very important. It's very important. Let's go back to Matthew 24th chapter. So my second recite giving you things to look for before he comes. They asked him. When shall these things be? When shall be the, you know, the time of his coming and the end of the world? So let's jump to Matthew 24 and 4. And the Messiah was answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. See? That's the whole thing. That's why you got to think opposite of this world. The man, the God of this world has taught you and got you all twisted on the internet, in the media, on the TV, on movies and so forth. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach. I am the one. I'm the one that you need to be following. They're going to say that. I am Mashiach. I'm the Messiah. I'm the anointed. And shall deceive many. So then you know that they're lying to many. And many going to follow that. Lie. You see what he says? For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach. I am Mashiach. He said, follow me. They're going to say, follow them. And shall deceive many. They're gonna, many people are going to be deceived. And you shall hear wars and rumors of war. We're in wars right now in the land of Israel. Wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. He said, don't be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You see, the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, food shortages, and pestilences, diseases, and, and plagues, and earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes in different places of the world. It said all these things. It said all these things are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows. Then so they deliver you up to be afflicted. Remember, the devil know he got a short time coming out with much wrath. And they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. A lot of, a lot of brothers are going to be martyrs. A lot of sisters are going to be martyrs. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. You know? Be hated of all nations for by some of my was shy, rolling in by some of my was shy, in the name of the anointed Savior. And then shall many be offended. You know, I used to think about that. Because, you know, I don't know if brothers still are uh, operating of old. But it was like we went to war. You ready to go to war? And that's how it is. Spiritual battle out there on the streets. But when I started going by Hashem and Mashiach, I was shy. Like he said, but as many as believed, gave you power to become the sons of the Most High, even to them that believe on by Hashem and Mashiach, I was shy. I started seeing miracles as it is until this day. And, you know, what he's saying, you're going to be hated for his name, say, because, you know, you have those of our nation that don't want you to have that power. And you have those of the other nations, the elite, they don't want you to have the power either. That's why I say you're going to be hated for his name's sake. Not for your own sake. Going out there thinking you're doing something. You better give glory to the Most High and stop saying, I did this and I did it. The Most High did it. Messiah's name is jealous. Moses didn't give him the, give him the, the exaltation. He said, speak to the rock. Messiah was told him, speak told, told Moses, speak to the rock. And he's going to bring his water from that rock. Hit that rock twice because Israel's getting on his nerve. That's why y'all got to have some patience. You got to have humility. You got to know how to get take something. Because Moses hit that rock twice with that staff. And that Messiah brought his water because children, he loved it. He loved, he loved Jacob. He brought his water forth, but Moses didn't make it to the promised land. And that's where we at now. In our plight to make it to the promised land, make it to the kingdom. So don't think that you could just get away with anything and it's most likely gonna overlook it. You might as well go back to church. 
or whatever religion you was in, or whatever religion that's out there for you to teach you something of that nature. Moses was a man that most I spoke mouth to mouth with. Hmm. Better check yourself because he didn't follow that. He told him, that's why you're not going to the kingdom. That's why you're not going to that land. Because you didn't get the most high the glory. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. You better learn to say glorify the most high. What did he just tell? What did he just tell Esau? Over and over again. I know. I'll let you know. He said at least three times. He said over and over again in this Bible. And you shall know that I am the most high. Now make it mean something different. Since it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. Oh, try him if you want to. See, that's a problem. People are people all to themselves. I did this, I did that. You ain't did nothing. The most high is the one to allow you to do whatever you do. Because he didn't want to allow you to break breathe this morning and wake up out of your sleep. Give him the glory. He said, You're gonna know that I am the most high. Don't let him visit you. For you to really know him. And his ways of thoughts are not our ways of thoughts. So don't stop saying the most high. I just stop that. But do it for the most high. It ain't for the most high. It's for you. You ain't the most high. Poop, that's stop. You should use that as, you know, a clutch to a crutch to be able to try and make you feel like you you're not doing something that you're supposed to do. You do I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You the one can't do what you're supposed to do, and you say do it for the most high. I'm doing it for the most high. You the one can't do it. You know, when I when I put it like that, it made sense. That's what the most I just said, say that. No, that's what I said. So that stopped that from being said. Do it for the most high. Some of y'all probably hear that. They ain't the most high. They're the ones can't do it. <laughs> Listen. Matthew 24. Verse 10. And then shall many be offended. Hear that? Many gonna be offended. Most I don't care. And shall betray one another. And shall hate one another. See? He know who you are. That's why he said in 2 Corinthians 9, 22, he said, Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. Many gonna be offended. And shall betray one another. They're gonna betray one another. You know, you can't, I mean, how many, how many brothers you can really rely on and all this stuff going to go down to watch over your family, your woman and your family, while you're going to have to take care of some business or whatever. Offended, going to betray one another and shall hate one another. That's bad, man. But your spirit ain't got to, you mean, all this time, it's the end of the world, and you still have your spirit right to be able to make sure that you there. To really love your people and not hating on your brother. You got some reason, some brothers you got a right to avoid though. He tell you that. You got a right to avoid them. Now can two walk together, not agree. You see? But people I tell you that he let you know you should be it shall be betray one another. Brothers gonna be turning brothers in. And shall hate one another. Hating on your brother. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. We see that now. Many false prophets will rise and shall deceive many. We were looking at lying, lying, lying. You know, and we don't have no right to be looking at nobody else because it started with us. Where, we, where you say you're going to start with us? From the ancient to the youngest. Men, women, and children. And young women. You're not sparing nobody. He said, have no pity. They ain't going to have no pity. He said, it says, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Many. You got all these people that came on this earth claiming to be a Mashiach. A lot of them gone. They dead. It's only one. We're reading about them. This is his words. Was it their words? Did they write this? It was them that said it? Did they go through the things that is written about here about Amashiach Yavashiach? I don't think so. It says, and because iniquity shall abound, 
Wickedness shall abound on this earth. The love of many shall wax cold. People won't be cold-blooded. That's why where the love at? Where the compassion? Where the humility at? No, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure to the end. You got to endure to the end in this truth. In the right perspective of how you please in the most high. And being humble. And not account yourself as one of the righteous. He said, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. He said, but he that shall endure until the end, through all this coldness that people are going to be, the same shall be saved from the enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All nations because what? Why? We're scattered among all nations. That's the Israelites. That's why it has to be preached a witness unto all nations, all mean a certain number of nations, you see, because we scattered among a certain number of these nations. And then said the end come. See. Look at uh, Jeremiah 51. Go to Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51 and I'm going to book it up verse 18. It says, let's read verse 17. It says, every man is beautiful by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded, confused by the graven image. Like that graven image that you painted of the one that supposed to represent of Masiach Yavashai. For his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. No breath in them, because they dead. Pushing up daisy. There is they are vanity. You that they are vanity. The work of errors in the time of the most I said. Those that believe in them are your fool. They are vanity, worthless, good for nothing, and work of errors. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish. Hear that? When my shall say, come back to this earth, these these idols of all these nations going to perish. He's the portion of Jacob is not like them. See, our portion is like, not like them, for he is the former of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Israelites, the most high of hosts is his name. Most high of angels and armies is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Hear that, Israel? He said, y'all are my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee, with the Israelites, will I break in pieces the nations? You know? So with the Israelites, most I say he's going to break in pieces the nations. And with thee, Yasharala, men, will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee, will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee, Yasharala, men, will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. And with thee, Yasharala, also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. We read that in Ezekiel 9 and 4. And I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. You hear that? That's why I be talking about these poor child being preachers need to repent and come back to this truth. Come and learn. It's say, I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd. And his flock, those that's in the congregation that's standing up for these poach up eating preachers that's teaching you to say the most high. And he ain't said nothing to them. And with thee will I break in pieces the husband and his yoke of iron, the farmers and their farm equipment and the oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. Hear that? Captains and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea, all their evil that they have done in Zion or to the children of Israel, in your sight, said the Most High. We look at that and look at George Floyd. Everybody seen that? He said, and I will render unto Babylon, America, the Edomites, and to all the inhabitants of, Chal of the Chaldeans, all you that have that mindset, all their evil that they have done in Zion, 
All the evil that they have done is that we just read how they broke the temples and when 71 AD we fell. They took all our riches out of our temples and so forth. He going to render to them the evil that they have done in Zion in your sight. Going to be those that are going to be living to see this, said the Most High. He said, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. I mean, who come from the mountains? We just read about Mountain Seer, and we know about the Caucasians. They come from the Caucasus Mountains. O destroying mountain, said the Most High, which destroyed all the earth. Hmm. 